Hey, friends! Here are 11 inventions that will save the planet. Number three is a much needed breath of fresh air. Number 11. Beer six pack rings are the bane of numerous species of marine wildlife. We've all seen the poignant images of turtles and ducks fettered by these plastic chains. Fortunately, these images might soon become a thing of the past. That's because a Florida based company called Saltwater Brewery has developed the world's first fully edible six pack rings. The brewing byproducts, such as barley and wheat, are baked into a six pack ring mold. It's 100% biodegradable and can be consumed by both animals and humans. Soon, instead of wasting your money on Uber Eats, you can nibble on your six pack rings to satiate those recalcitrant beer munchies. Number 10, forget about texting for a moment. Picture yourself going old school and actually writing a letter. If the image in your mind is of you writing on a scroll with a giant feather, you've gone back too far. What if there was a way that you could write an essay on how bad pollution is with a pen that's filled with actual pollution? It might sound impossible, but Air Inc. founder Anirudh Sharma has found a way. The main difference between the regular pen and the Air Inc. pen is that the latter is filled with almost an hour's worth of one car's pollution. It's a way for pollution to become a resource, helping people put down ideas that might one day make the world a better and cleaner place. Pop quiz, hot shot! So how do you think that the Air Inc. pen works? Let us know in the comment section and stay tuned to later on in the video to see if you're right. Number nine, the disquieting estimates indicate that by 2050, the amount of plastic that's in the ocean will outweigh the fish. Obviously, that's very bad news, but we might have a steady ally in the fight against plastic waste. It's this enzyme called PETase, and it was accidentally discovered by Japanese researchers in bacteria from PET recycling sites. PETase can start to break down plastic within a few days, whereas the naturally occurring degradation takes hundreds of years. It's worth mentioning that the plastic doesn't go away, but it's rather reduced to more basic elements, which makes recycling easier. This chopped up PET can be put into lower value goods like seat cushions or carpeting. In 2018, researchers from the University of Portsmouth developed a mutant version of PETase, which breaks plastic down faster than the enzyme in its natural state. Number eight, not having access to clean water might sound like a nightmare for people in first world countries. For many others, it's an unfortunate reality. That is where inventions like the Life Straw come in. Developed by a Swiss company called Fastergrad Fransen, a single straw is capable of filtering about 870 gallons of water for human consumption. That's enough for one person to use for about three years. The Life Straw is a plastic tube that doesn't use chemicals, only physical filtration methods to remove almost all waterborne parasites and bacteria. It's a brilliant invention that has won awards, earned praise from international media, and was even featured in New York City's Museum of Modern Art. The company is constantly improving on the initial design and working towards developing more scalable products. Number seven, the Seabin Project was founded by Australian surfers Andrew Turton and Pete Kaglinski. Judging from their invention, it's almost like they traded their surfboards for lab coats. The Seabin is low maintenance, low cost, and designed to work around the clock in local ports and marinas. It's sort of like a trash can for the ocean. It floats around while powered by an onshore pump. It filters seawater and collects garbage, but also captures oils and pollutants from the water surface. Cowabunga! <laughs> number six. There are a number of bags claiming to be biodegradable when they actually aren't. At first glance, you might think that Avani Bag is another liar just looking to cash in on the green tax, but that's most certainly not the case. The bag is true to the I'm not plastic words branded on its sides. Kevin Kumala, founder of Avani Eco, identified plastic bags as one of the worst threats faced by ocean wildlife. His company has developed ponchos, bags, 
food packaging, and even hospital bed covers that look plastic but are actually made of cassava roots and natural starches. They leave behind no toxic residue and break down on land or in water in just a few months. They're reported even to be safe for animal consumption. Number five, Dutch inventor slash entrepreneur Boyan Slat founded the Ocean Cleanup in 2013 when he was just 18 years old. At an age when most teens are still finding their place in the world, Slat figured he'd try to save the world instead. The NGO he started has been committed to developing technologies that would rid the oceans of plastic. The Ocean Cleanup Project uses V-shaped barriers which are placed underwater to trap plastic waste as it's carried by the ocean's natural currents. The waste is gathered in the middle of the barrier from where it can be removed via boat. Once the plastic is removed, it can then be properly recycled. The project has received millions of dollars in donations and by 2021 plans to launch 60 systems in the Pacific Garbage Patch. The project estimates that if everything goes according to plan, almost 50% of the debris in the garbage patch would be removed within five years. Number four, aquaponics is a system that is described as the perfect marriage between fish farming and hydroponics, which is also known as soil-free agriculture. The plant growth is fertilized by waste from fish or other aquatic animals, and in return, the plants clean the water that goes back to them. It's hardly a new invention, as there's some evidence that it was used in China in the first century AD and later by the Aztecs. Modern versions, however, do seem to have planet-saving potential, particularly when it comes to organic crop production. Number three. According to the most recent numbers from the World Health Organization, over 90% of the planet's population lives in an area where the air pollution exceeds the guideline limits. A joint effort between a startup company called Arborea and Imperial College London has produced a potential solution to making air more breathable. It's called the Biosolar Leaf. It might sound like something that would grow on a robotic tree, but its creation was actually inspired by the natural process of photosynthesis. The researchers from Arborea developed a cultivation system that enables microalgae and phytoplankton to grow on large solar panel-like structures. They absorb carbon dioxide from the area where the panels are installed and release pristine oxygen. And the awesome doesn't stop there because at the same time, the biosolar leaf also generates a sustainable plant protein. It legitimately gives us food as it's purifying the air. Once again, thanks to the unsung hero of the environmental effort, algae. The biosolar leaf can be installed on land or on buildings and can allegedly do the job of a hundred trees while only taking up the space of one. Number two, many flora species rely on cross-pollination and this usually happens with the help of bees and other insects. Male flower parts, called stamens, produce pollen that fertilizes female flower parts, called pistils, and this produces seeds. It's the plant version of the birds and the bees, pun intended. The pollen is transferred between the flowers when it gets stuck on the bodies of insects that feed on them. About 75% of the world's crops depend on these pollinating agents, the most important of which are bees. The sad news is that bee populations are going down on a global scale. Therefore, scientists are preparing for plan B. Researchers in Japan have already successfully used a remote-controlled drone to pollinate a flower. To do this, they attached horsehair bristles coated in a special gel to the drone. A robotics research team at Harvard University has been working for 12 years on a project called RoboBee. They created a minuscule robot with a wingspan of 1.2 inches, capable of beating its wings 120 times per second. The ultimate goal is to create a fully autonomous swarm capable of artificial pollination. However, there is still a long way to go before robotic pollinators can become a scalable solution. For now, our best bet is taking care of the buzzing little helpers that we do have so that one day they might work alongside their robotic brethren. It's answer time. So how does the innovative air ink pen work? It's an impressive process. A patented cartridge called 
Kalink, is installed on cars to collect the carbon soot from their exhausts. Then, the Air Inc. team eliminates the toxins from the resulting material, only leaving behind the raw carbon. Afterwards, the carbon is processed into black ink and sold in a container that works just like a regular pen. Number one, picture this. You've just finished drinking a bottle of water when you notice that there aren't any recycle bins nearby. You don't want to add to the ever-growing amount of plastic waste that's plaguing the environment. So what can you do? How about you eat that bottle? A London startup called Skipping Rocks Lab has developed a water bottle that you can consume in its entirety. The clear pods kind of look like water suspended in zero gravity, but they're actually made of water encapsulated in a transparent seaweed extract. The membrane that holds the serving of water doesn't have a flavor, but it's entirely edible. It's 100% compostable, so you don't really have to consume it if you don't want to. 